everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new and you don't know me my name is Bailey and I post nursing videos relating around me being in my or going into my fourth and final semester of nursing school I have documented almost all of my nursing school journey here on YouTube and I am still continuing that into my last semester. Today I thought it was a good idea to come on here and share all of the tips and tricks that I have learned on how to study for nursing school. Honestly, a nursing school studying is completely different than studying I've done for any other class in college or high school or anything. It is it's just a whole nother ball game honestly like it is very rigorous and a lot of material to take in in a very short amount of time so you really need to understand how your brain works and how you best retain information in order to succeed in nursing school so i am going to share what works best for me i'm also going to share what I have learned from other students in my nursing program what works best for them and just some tips and tricks to better retain the information that you learn and to ace your exams. I've gotten pretty much good scores in the A's to high B's range for almost all my exams throughout the three semesters that I have been in nursing school so far. And I want to share what I have learned with you guys today because I watched these videos trying to figure out how I could be a good nursing student and successfully become a nurse and they helped me so much and I have learned I feel like I've learned so much I've come so far from when I was a little baby first semester nursing student so without further ado let's just get right into it so I have my iPad here with some notes that I just wrote out to kind of like keep me on track for this video because I don't want to ramble too much I want to get right to the point so in nursing school your exams make up pretty much the majority of your grade and therefore it is really really important to know how to study for these exams because if you fail one, it is still possible to come back from it, but it is really, really hard. Like you have to ace all the rest of them. And so it's like one or two bad tests can make you fail a semester and then you have to start all over. So studying is definitely one of the most important skills to learn early on in nursing school. Most nursing schools have a different grading system as well than a regular college course. So for my program, and I know for a lot of other nursing programs, we have to get a 75 or higher in the class or else we don't pass. So in college and high school, the grading system scale that you have grown up to know and love or hate, whatever your relationship with grades are, you can get down to like a D and still pass the class. That is not the case in nursing school. In nursing school, if you get a below a 75, then you don't pass. And another thing is if you don't pass one class in the semester, you have to retake the entire semester over again. It doesn't matter if you pass clinical, but you didn't pass your nursing fundamentals lecture course. Like you have to retake the clinical, you have to retake your skills lab, you have to retake your lecture course. Like that is no fun that is no fun so we don't want that to happen guys we want to make it through first time no shame if you fail a course if you don't pass it happens to everyone everyone is on their own path if you have failed a course just know that it's not the end of the world that you are going to be where you are meant to be and you just need to put your best foot forward and just keep on working towards that goal and you will get it i promise you you will get it don't don't be discouraged if you fail and you have to start over i know plenty of people that have had to do that and 
they start over and it's it's not the end of the world as much as it feels like it is in the moment it is not the end of the world you guys okay anyways jumping to before nursing school if you are trying to get into nursing school and pass the hesty i do have a few tips i can give you guys on how i passed the hesty i got in the 90s in all sections and that insanely boosted my application for getting into nursing school I knew so many people that did not get into nursing school their first try applying and I knew it was a very competitive, hard process and I was completely ready to get rejected the first time I applied. I'm pretty sure my HESI scores are one of the main reasons that I got pushed to the top of the application list because I got 90s in all of the sections. I can do a full video on how I study for the HESI more in depth if you guys want that, just let me know in the comments down below. And also another thing about comments down below, anyone who has any other tips for studying for nursing school, studying for HESI, studying for the Kaplan, studying for the NCLEX, anything like that, drop them in the comments down below so we can help each other out. And I'm always looking for new study tips to help me as well, you know? We can always keep learning. For the HESI, what I found was a huge help for me was going online and finding practice exams and study guides. So you don't really have to pay for something to study for a HESI. You can if you want to, but for me, I found majority of the stuff that really helped me learn the material online for free. So one of the websites that I really, really liked for studying for the HESI was this one called uniontestprep.com. And if you just search for the HESI on there, it literally comes up with all of the different sections that you will be tested on and it will give you a study guide for each of them. So if you click on anatomy and physiology, it brings you to this page, goes over everything you need to go through and you just click on it. And if it, you can get without ads if you wanna pay, but the ads aren't too bad. And then it just goes through everything you need to know. And then you just keep going to the next pages and it literally is such a condensed version of all of the topics that you need to go through for studying for the HESI. It's really nice. And then the one thing that I did pay for to help me study for the HESI, which looking back, I don't really know how much it really did for me other than like start to motivate me to sit down and study for the HESI. If you think that the HESI is just an easy entrance exam, it's not. I had multiple friends who had to take it multiple times to get decent scores and even then like they weren't the best. So you definitely need to take some time to study for the HESI. Nothing crazy but definitely sit down and go over these topics because they're things that we haven't seen in a while if you've been in college for a little bit or in life in general. If you didn't just graduate high school, then you are not gonna know a lot of the stuff that's on the HESI. So what I did purchase, which was a little less than $30 on Amazon, I will link it below for you guys. What I got was the Metrics HESI A2 study guide. That is just like a basic study guide you can go through. It has like practice HESI exams and then just goes through like practice problems on what you're gonna see in a HESI. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty straightforward at the same time. And I mean, I did the whole thing and along with all of the study materials I found online for free for the HESI, I was able to get really good scores my first time taking the exam. So it did have an impact on helping me. Now getting into when you're in nursing school. So first things first, you need to have a really good and solid anatomy and physiology foundation. A lot of the stuff that you learn in nursing school is building off of what you've already learned in your first two semesters of anatomy and physiology physiology, they don't really backtrack at all into how the systems work. They start right off on disease processes 
and they don't give you that review into like different body systems and how they work like they expect you to already know that so if it's been a little while since you've taken your anatomy and physiology courses i definitely recommend doing some studying online taking a refresher course i know my school offers a short like little refresher anatomy and physiology course right before school starts and we always get emails about it and our professors are always encouraging us to make sure that we are up to date on our knowledge of a and p because everything you learn in nursing school like i said builds off of that and they don't go back and review at all so like you need to know it before going into nursing school so now I'm just gonna list some online resources that exponentially helped me during my study time and I still use to this day to study. Obviously registered nurse RN, if you don't know her, then like, I don't know where you've been under a rock. If you haven't started nursing school yet, then you will come to know who she is. So when you start nursing school, she is all over nursing youtube but she's amazing she does very in-depth videos about all the topics you learn in nursing school relating to different conditions disease processes ad pie all of that stuff and she goes through it in a way that like you look at it as a nurse and like what you need to look for in your patient how it's going to present what you need to do to resolve the issue or whatever so she is really good to get your mind kind of in that critical thinking mindset that you need as a nurse. Another one I really like is Simply Nursing or Simple Nursing. He is on YouTube as well as he has um, his whole little like website that you can, I'm pretty sure you have to pay for it, but there's probably fr some free stuff on there too. But I just watch his YouTube videos and they are amazing. They're really, really detailed. They do all these fun little cartoons that help you memorize things like way better another website i really like is nurse labs and this website is really really good for creating care plans so this is something that we have to do for clinical and creating a care plan if you don't already know is so tedious and time consuming and when you're actually a nurse like it's so easy you just like click a bunch of like boxes and your care plan is done but when you're in nursing school for some reason they want to make you come up with the whole thing on your own and write it all out and it just takes so much time and with this website nurse labs you find your diagnosis that you want to use for your care plan and you they literally give you all of the possibilities for like putting together your care plan and, and what you can use for your risks and interventions and all of that stuff so that is really helpful another website that i really like that most of you probably already know about is quizlet so quizlet has so much nursing content on there like there are so many people that have made nursing flashcard decks on there either nclex style questions and answers and explanations for why the answers are the way they are or just a simple study guide there is so much on there and you can also make your own stuff too so i will talk about how i use a quizlet when i go into my note taking but you can make your own quizlets on there too relating to the information that you're learning in class which is so helpful and there's so many different features on there for like how to really like take advantage of it and really like get the best out of it a nursing school app that i really like is the app nursing dictionary so this one it just looks super simple you just pull it up and you can literally search anything you want and it comes up with so much information about that particular thing so you can literally look up a drug let's look up doxycycline because this is my new acne medication and it comes up with so much information about it like 
literally everything you need. You don't even, even need a Davis's drug guide if you have this. So overall, very convenient. One of my absolute favorite online resources for nursing school is the app or website Pygmonix. So if you guys don't know what Pygmonix is, it is an online study service that creates short stories and like pictures and stuff to go along with disease processes and interventions and stuff like that to help you better memorize it. So this has like you guys don't even know how much Pygmonix has helped me and like saved my like nursing career. It helps me memorize things so much. There's a bunch on there for free, but I literally paid for it. So during each semester, I pay like 10 or $11 a month to have access to all of the pygmonics because they are literally a lifesaver, you guys, especially in pharmacology, they help so much. So I am going to show you one of my favorite ones for pharmacology. It is the ACE inhibitors. So this is the only way I know I like I have any like recollection of what an ACE inhibitor is whatsoever is because I can literally visualize this pygmonic in my head and then I pick out things and I'm like, okay, that means that, that means that. Like the ACE inhibitors are the blood pressure medication that ends in prill because there's pearls on the like card table. It's just so easy to remember. So you have like the hiker in the banana suit. So that's hyperkalemia because he's hike hiker hyper. And then the banana for potassium. So he's so it can cause hyperkalemia and then the little edamame is for edema and they have big lips so it can cause angioedema. There is the coffee pot which signals a cough because you can get a cough with an ACE inhibitor. You have to look for hypotension which is represented by the hippo with the blood pressure cuff, hippo, hypo. Like it just helps so much you guys memorizing this stuff and all of these things they are on every single one. So if you have a drug or a condition or anything that you have to look for hyperkalemia, it will have a hiker in a banana suit. So it's so easy to like, it's all consistent. If you take one thing at all from this video, it is that you need to get Pygmonics to be successful in nursing school, like I swear. And then last but not least for online resources, currently I am using the resource UWorld to study for the NCLEX. So I paid a little, like 300 something dollars for this and it's only like, a six month access, which sucks, but this source has literally been amazing for helping me study for the NCLEX. They have a whole huge question bank full of NCLEX style questions from whatever specialty you want to study, you can select that only and create a test from literally like 10 questions all the way to like 175 questions. Like you can create the biggest test ever if you want. And then they also have two, well, I bought the package that comes with two mock HESI exams. So I haven't taken those yet. Those are gonna be taken away closer to when I'm going to actually take the NCLEX, but this resource has helped me so much in studying for the NCLEX and I know it is very expensive. It is very expensive for such a short amount of access, but if you can afford it, I would definitely say that it is worth having throughout nursing school because the questions on there are really, really good to help you prep for NCLEX style questions, which are what you're gonna be seeing on all of your exams and all of your tests and quizzes and everything throughout nursing school. They're all gonna be NCLEX style, which is very hard type of question to like get used to deciphering. And if you guys want a video on how I take my tests and how I decipher NCLEX style questions and all of that, then I can definitely do that for you guys. Just drop it in the comments below that that's what you want from me. And then some resources that are more related to what you're gonna be needing for school. So you 
at least for my nursing school, and I know a lot of other nursing programs do this too, you get access with your course fees and everything to a whole bunch of online resources through the books that you buy and stuff. So through El Xavier or F.A. Davis or any of those, and those have a bunch of question banks as well, all NCLEX style questions that you can go through and create tests to help study for exams as well as questions in the back of the book and in each chapter they also help a lot with studying for the exams and i know sometimes i will see questions that are the exact same or very very similar from the question banks or from the book on exams so I would definitely say that is a big tip is go through those questions because you never know when your teacher, your instructor might take a question from the book or one of these question banks that they are have literally been telling you since day one that you need to be studying, you know? And that is why. And then for books, an app that I really like to use to keep all of my books because they're all online. It's just so much easier that way and better for the planet and all that, you know? An app that I really like to keep all my books together is the um, Vital Source Bookshelf app. So I can literally open up this app and it has all of my books and I can literally access them wherever I can have this. I have this app on my phone. I have it on my iPad. I can access it from my computer and then I have all my books in the same place no matter if I downloaded the access code from F.A. Davis or El Salvier or wherever like they can all get added into your vital source bookshelf and it is so amazing so now on to more note-taking study tips first and foremost i would say learn your learning style like know what works best for you when you're trying to learn and retain this information that is going to be so so important because that is what you need to be focusing on when you're going into your study sessions is what is going to help you retain the information best so personally for me i'm a very kinesthetic learner as well as I, don't, I think I'm like a mixture of all of them. I like to do multiple different avenues of studying. I don't know. I like to transform my study material into multiple different things. I don't, I'm not saying this right at all, but like I will take notes. I love taking notes. I obsessively take notes. I will then turn that into flashcards and I'll watch a video and then I'll take notes on that and then I'll condense it all down into something easier to memorize. And I just like keep finding new ways to like make me like go over my notes and keep processing and better retaining that information for later when the exam comes around. Okay, I love flashcards, flashcards. If you've met any nursing student, they usually say flashcards are gonna be your best friend. It's true. I like the big flashcards. These don't have any lines on them. You can get ones with lines if you want. I like to be able to have the ability to write big or small, whatever. So I don't wanna be confined to lines, but you guys can do whatever you want. So these are what I use. I just put all of my notes on them like this. This worked really well for me for pharmacology. You put on all of the ADEs and the MOAs and everything on here. Like, so this is one drug class, anticholinergics. It just condenses them down in a way that makes it like so much easier to retain the information and study it. Also, I love color coordinating. So all the colors mean something. So obviously like I have for ADEs, they're gonna be red, adverse effects. Then the contraindications I have is orange on all of them. I have the implications is green on all of them. The MOA is pink. So like everything is color coordinated to help with that like visualization in my head. Anything that will like pop out and stand out helps me so much because then when I'm in the exam, it just like I can visualize it in my head and remember exactly what I need to know. Another thing I really like for studying and test taking is the whiteboard. So if you have anything like 
steps of a process or a medication if you want to memorize the entire thing i mean you have to for pharmacology then you just want something that you can just rewrite it over and over and over again and just like erase rewrite rewrite saves paper and helps you memorize so definitely would suggest investing in one of these this is a small one but um i feel like a big one would be even more helpful another thing for studying is study groups you guys study groups are literally a lifesaver in nursing school there are so many exams that the only reason i passed it the only reason i aced it was because i went to a study group and someone in the group explained to me something that i didn't fully yet understand and like that is the only reason that i passed an exam like study groups are the most amazing thing they help you so much to see different concepts from different perspectives from other people. And also, if you get a concept more than someone else, then you teaching that concept to someone in the study group helps you retain that information even more and helps you like I love the teach back like method you learn about that in nursing school for how to know that your patients fully understand what you're teaching them what you're telling them about their medication their disease their condition whatever the teach back method helps you to retain information so it helps you to say like yes I was just listening to everything you've said and now I'm going to say it again and show that I was actually like can understand and comprehend it all and that using that technique in a study group is so amazing it helps me so much to be like okay if you don't fully get this i think i understand it so let's talk it through let me teach you about it and then other people can like jump in too and be like oh no that's not how it is or oh yeah that's how it is and then i can say more about this or this and it just helps so much with like studying and it also helps to just know that like other people are in your same boat like having a study group and having people to vent to and to like share this experience with this nursing school experience with is it will make your time in nursing school 10 times better. For note taking wise, I really love visual diagrams. I love mnemonics, anything that is just a little like out there. Like me and my nursing friends, we always, especially in pharmacology, we would love to make up stories kind of like the pigmonics or makeup. We would draw pictures and stuff to kind of break down medications that we didn't like we're having trouble remembering and we would make little like stories out of them and stuff and that is another technique that the simple nursing guy does too like i remember one of the psych meds we just learned last semester was amitriptyline and he breaks it up to help you remember it which is Amy trips on things, break up the word, it sounds the exact same. And then that helps you associate that when a patient is on Amy tryptoline, they might have some problems with balance, orthostatic hypotension, stuff like that. Like, cause you remember, oh, Amy trips on things, you know? Then you put two and two together. So stuff like that really, really helps to like keep that information in your head. Anything you can do to be like, a little out of the norm you know will help immensely like keep things in your brain one of my friends that she makes giant poster boards and puts all the information that she's studying for the exam on the poster boards and that is how she studies and it she loves it it works out really well for her so that's another idea you guys can do i know nursing students that they print out the whole powerpoint because most of the time your instructors will post the PowerPoint lecture before lecture. They actually like teach on it. So they will print out the whole PowerPoint in the study format where you have the lines on the side and then they'll take notes that way. So then you have the information from the slide and then you can add whatever the teacher is gonna say, which that is always a, another idea to do. I don't like all that wasted paper, so I don't do that, but if that is, I whatever you can do to help you. If you like pencil and paper kind of note taking, then go for it. I was that kind of note taker for the longest time. I loved taking my paper notes. I loved writing out as much as I could. It helped me retain my information that I was learning. And then when I started nursing school, I actually decided to invest in an iPad. So this has actually been amazing in nursing school. I have the Apple Pencil as well, and I take all of my notes on the app GoodNotes. 
And I know there are other note taking apps too. There's plenty of girls in my nursing class that had iPads and they were using different note taking apps. They're all good, but I just really liked good notes. You have to pay like seven or eight dollars for it, but it's a one time fee and I think it's pretty worth it for everything that you can do. I can do a whole in-depth video on how I take notes on my iPad. I will probably be doing that pretty soon because this video is already really long so I can't really go into depth on how I take notes on my iPad but I can say that I really like it and it did take a little bit of getting used to but it was it was such an easy switch and going from obsessively taking notes in my notebooks to this like I now obsessively take notes in my iPad and it works way better for me. I was so obsessive with my notes in my notebook that like I would write something and I wouldn't like the way that it looked and then I would erase it and rewrite it and then I wouldn't like the way it looked again, erase it and rewrite and it would take so long on here I can just press the back button and that whole word is like gone. And then like if you make a mistake like it's just so much easier to like erase it and fix it in the iPad and it takes so much less time, it's so much less hassle, and my notes honestly look so much better in the iPad. Now on to actually taking notes for lecture. So like I said before, most professors, most instructors in nursing school will post their lecture PowerPoint online before you go into class. So first and foremost, take notes on that PowerPoint. Go through that PowerPoint, take notes on it before lecture, then go to lecture and record lecture first of all. If you're in person, always record your instructor speaking in lecture. If you're online, usually they are already recording it and they will post it online for you so you can always go back and re-listen to the lecture, but if you're in person, make sure you are recording your lecture with your phone or whatever. We, when we were in person, we had a table at the front that our instructors would let us go and put our recording devices on. Some people put their phones up there, some people actually bought like recorders and it was pretty much everyone in the class was recording the lecture. So that is a pro tip. If you're in person, record the lecture. And then just write down key points that the instructor makes. They're always gonna say something that is very important or like this is gonna be on the test. Write down anything like that that deviates from what is already on the PowerPoint and what you already took notes on. Then when you get home, you are going to re-listen to the lecture and put together all of your notes. This is when you're gonna do your color coding. This is when you're gonna do your diagrams and your pictures and you're gonna make it all look very nice and neat and it helps you. You're going through that information again, like further retaining it, further understanding it. And then from there, you can keep going through those notes. You can turn those notes then into a condensed version on flashcards, on Quizlet, whatever you have already by this time already gone through the material three or four times and that will retain everything that you've learned so far but then once it comes down to setting for the exam you need to condense that material because you can't hold all of this information like your brain is going to explode so then you condense it down into the most important key topics if your instructor gives you an exam blueprint or a study guide or anything that will have major key concepts on it for what to focus on for the exam then you go in and you reformat your notes again into a more condensed study guide you can do this on flashcards again you can just do this as regular notes you can do this on a poster board. There's so many different like options on how to do this and you just you just keep going and keep condensing and like as you keep going through this process you are going to be memorizing all of the information and then when you're in the exam you can just picture that condensed piece of paper or that condensed note card or whatever you did and you can just picture that in your head and be like okay I've looked at this so many times, I've gone through this information so many times that I know that the lab values that I needed to memorize, I put up in this corner of the paper. And I remember I did chloride and then sodium and then potassium. And then what was potassium? And then like, you can just memorize that because you've looked at it so many times, your brain has like processed and retained and like documented that information in your brain and 
you going over that information so many times tells your brain like this is important this isn't something we want to forget you know and that is what you have to keep doing as being a nurse and then it just becomes second nature to you and then you have all this stuff memorized and then last but not least throughout this whole process you can be watching videos on youtube going through online study material going through those quiz banks going through the book taking notes on the book helps a lot even though it might be reiterating information from what's already in your lectures nursing school instructors are tricky guys like you think you're getting all the information because you're listening to their lectures and you're taking notes on their powerpoints and then you get to the exam and they completely drop a bomb on you something that they never talked about at all but it was just in the book and it was in the chapters you were supposed to read that were part of your reading list and they never went over it but there it is on the exam and if you didn't go through your book you will know nothing about it like trust me that has happened so many times where i didn't go through the book and then i thought i was okay because i was paying attention to all the lectures and then this question i'm like what where did you come from excuse me i don't remember you at all anyways that is just a brief not brief because this video is almost an hour long already but that is just a little bit of how I study for nursing school, how I have been successful in nursing school so far, how I've gotten to the point of being almost ready to graduate. And I just wanted to be able to share everything with you guys to help you guys out. Like I said earlier, comment anything below if you have other study tips, anything I didn't talk about, anything you have for fellow nursing students in this little YouTube community we have going on here. And anyone trying to get into nursing school, I wish you the best of luck. And anyone who has just gotten into nursing school, congratulations. I also wish you the best of luck. And you guys can do it. I believe in you. It, nursing school is very hard. It's very difficult, but it is worth it. And you can get through it if you put in the time and put in the effort and really get to know how you personally will succeed in nursing school. The biggest part of it is learning yourself and learning what works best for you because not everything is going to work for everyone but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i will do more study videos soon i will do more in-depth videos how i study on my ipad how i take notes on my ipad more in-depth on how i study for the nclex i can do an in-depth video on how i studied for the hesi and how i aced that in my first try you guys just let me know what you want to see from me and I will give it to you guys. I will do my best to give it to you guys because I want to help you guys. These YouTube nursing videos helped me out tremendously when I was starting off nursing school and I am just trying to do the same for you guys. So thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. You guys know what to do and I will see you all in my next video.